Hello everybody and welcome back to a slightly different video than usually planned. It is still about CSGO skins though technically and there's a little bit of information to be learned from this video but I just kind of wanted to show off something that happened recently for me. Obviously a lot of luck was involved in this but I wanted to show you guys my nothing to a knife in two days. It was just a really crazy chain of events and I think it's a pretty interesting concept going from nothing to a knife and especially a knife as good as the one that I actually ended up with. So let's get into that after a quick word from our sponsor Skin Wallet. SkinWallet.com is a great place to go if you want to go ahead and insta sell any of your skins for real money or if you want to go ahead and use their marketplace to sell your skins they have a great support team very fast and efficient website they're pretty new so there is going to be a little bit of time before the marketplace evolves to the level that you're going to want to see it at but it's definitely a really good site and i want to see it grow a lot so if you guys want to go ahead and check it out use the link in the description below great site go check it out Thanks. The age-old nothing to a knife, a challenge that has plagued the CSGO community for a very long time, trying to figure out different methods to achieve it, but for me it ended up being RNG, and a lot of really good RNG at that. So nothing to a knife started for me at $15, and compared to the knife that I ended up getting, it is arguable that $15 is technically nothing compared to the overall value of the end result, but for a lot of people they actually like to start at something like a case, which is like 3 cents. But for me it started with $15 that I had left over on buff, I ended up starting off by buying a a Cologne 2016 capsule, and unfortunately no recording for this because it was just kind of a random purchase that I made. Now I didn't get the best possible result out of this capsule, but I did get a Dignitas Cologne 2016 Hollow, which is a really good result, worth around $45 at the current moment, but at the time it was worth around $40, so at the time it was about a profit of $25. As you can see, I ended up selling it on the community markets and trying to go even deeper and seeing how far I could go with this overall challenge, even though at the point that I was at, I wasn't really considering going for a knife, but it ended up happening. So anyway, I ended up selling it and then I went for a snakebite trade-up because snakebite obviously is the new case and that means that I can go ahead and attempt trade-ups for some of the really nice snakebite skins. I decided to go with a factory new AK Slate trade-up which is a 1 in 5 chance of getting and that one was actually successful as well which was super crazy to see. I was really hyped to get that because it meant that I also had an extra profit of about another $30 or so at the time. Obviously prices rose after that but at the time it was about a $30 profit. Now at this point you're probably thinking why didn't I just stop here? I was already up quite a bit, but I decided to go ahead and sell the AK Slate anyway and go for a nice, beautiful Stat Track Factory new AK-47 Slate, which is really dumb considering I just got the AK Slate already, so going for a double 1 in 5 chance is just a really dumb thing to do, and honestly, I have no idea why I chose to do it. But I guess it proves that you need a little bit of dumb luck to complete nothing to a knife because I actually ended up getting the Stat Track Factory new AK Slate back to back with the normal Factory new AK Slate, so really crazy, Gaben decided to bless me I guess, and that's how I ended up with a hundred and $70 skin in my inventory. I then decided to cash in and get a knife at this point, which was a Flip Brightwater Minimal Wear 0 .07 Float, which was a really nice knife to get, especially considering I was just buying the lowest one on the market. I thought it was a pretty good price, so I ended up getting the knife. So at this point, I'd already done nothing to a knife, but what's about to happen is probably going to surprise you, and it's also going to make you think I'm dumb, but then it's going to go ahead and end on a pretty crazy note. Now at this point, I'd like to say that you should not replicate this. This video is not meant to be a recommendation to do this, it's just showing an experience that I I had with CSGO's crazy luck system, and I just ended up getting the winning number that day. Obviously, a lot of people lost, though, so I do not recommend doing this at all. I do not promote it at all. I'm just showing you guys what happened to me personally with my own choice. I then went on vacation, and for some reason, I guess being on vacation, I decided to go ahead and sell the Flip Brightwater on the Steam Community Market, which was a really dumb decision. Obviously, you should go ahead and quit while you're ahead if you do gamble. I don't recommend gambling at all. I don't promote it at all, but if you do decide to do it, Obviously, you want to quit while you're ahead. I did not do that, and I sold the Flip Brightwater. Now, the reason I decided to sell it is because I wanted to go ahead and attempt getting a Crown Foil unboxed from a Sticker Capsule 2. The reason I wanted to do this is because Crown Foils spiked quite a lot in price, so I wanted to see if I could just go ahead and high roll and just go crazy and get crazy luck and get one, and that did not happen. I actually got completely shafted on those capsules, which just goes to show that it probably won't work in an overall replicated scenario. Now, at this point, I had about $80 left, but I decided to go for some more capsules and open some Atlanta 20. 2017 Challengers capsules, which tend to be pretty good overall. A lot of the stickers in there are really good, and even if you get one of the worst stickers in the capsule, you still walk away with a portion of your money, a little bit more than you would get out of something like a case unboxing. But similarly to the Crown capsules, I got completely destroyed on these capsules as well, and so I basically had gone from nothing to a knife and then back to nothing. Now at this point, the only thing I had left was the Envious Hollow, which was around $22 after tax. Now that was still technically above what I started with, but it was definitely putting me in a bad mood, and it definitely meant that I I had lost basically everything that I'd gained so far. However, I'm a strong believer in the Lord above. Gay Ben at ValveSoftware.com.
So I decided to go even deeper and go for a complete Hail Mary play on this, which was Phoenix Cases. Now why Phoenix Cases, you might ask? Well, they've been pretty good to me historically. They ended up giving me a Black Amov, which is one of the rarest things you can get in all of CSGO. So dropping one of those out of a case was really crazy for me and definitely made me love the Phoenix Case overall. They also tend to be one that I can get a pretty decent thing out of, even in a low amount of cases. For some reason, it seems like I always get at least a pink out of like three cases or so. So it's a pretty good case for me. It just seems to be one that I have a good track record with. And that was definitely true for this opening as well. It started off pretty much with what I expected, one pink and a bunch of blues worth basically nothing and a definite loss overall out of the five cases that I bought. However, the fifth case was something I did not expect at all. The very last attempt, the final Hail Mary, the prayer to Gaben above, and it dropped me. Yep, by some literal act of a power above, someone blessed me with the final case dropping a $580 well-worn Karambit case hardened with a pretty nice pattern actually. This pattern's really not that bad overall, definitely could get a couple bucks over market at least for it. So definitely a really crazy journey and a huge profit at the end. Definitely was saved by that crazy case luck on the very last chance I had of redeeming nothing to a knife from a huge loss. So definitely a really crazy journey, definitely nothing like this is going to happen in the future for me but it was fun while it lasted and I'm glad I at least got to make this video out of it. It was a lot of fun, but fret not, even though RNG is not going to be good for everybody, there is another way that you can go from nothing to a knife in a much more safe manner and that is through investing. Now I have a ton of videos on my channel about investing from the absolute cheapest to the most expensive stuff that you can even buy for an investment overall and there's definitely enough content there to get you from nothing to a knife. So definitely go check out my other videos, there's definitely enough content to get you from nothing to a knife in a much more safe, in a minimal RNG based manner. So if you're looking to go from nothing to a knife, it's also possible for you. So that's going to be the end of this crazy journey. This is a little bit of a different video, obviously not super helpful and it's not super educational, but a little bit more entertaining on that side of things. Hopefully it reached you well and hopefully you enjoyed the video. I definitely had some fun making it and definitely had fun making some money off of this crazy RNG from Gaben. Again, if you guys want more content like this or want to go on your own journey of sorts that doesn't involve as much RNG and you want to make a little bit more off of investing in a safer manner, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. I post the best investment content for CSGO anywhere else on YouTube because I've been doing digital market investing for over a decade in a multitude of games. So subscribing to the channel is definitely going to be a very good decision. Also be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and check out Skin Wallet, Discord, and Twitter. Links in the description below. See you guys next time. Peace.